Listen, life is absolutely crazy. I'm listen. I just came from the gym, and um, I have a few reflections uh, that I would like to share with you. About a year ago, I had a perfect career as a software engineer, making a lot of money, living in Chicago, and not just living in Chicago, but we're like really traveling all over the United States, and I could live anywhere I could possibly want it. And little did I know that um, a few months later, a year ago, uh, my typical world would just crumble and crashed and burned. But it created something totally different. Also last year, around January, I thought that I had so many gifts. I know two sign languages. I am a therapist. I am a mentor. I used to teach. And I'm a software developer. And I help so many people throughout my career land a job, find better relationship, uh, get to leadership, like just so many things. Or even like when I was working in healthcare, like finding the better fit like for a doctor, for a medical professional. So uh, I was thinking, how could I create a better, bigger uh, and more meaningful impact in my life through my talents? Because um, at that point, just making money, just having um, a career in tech wasn't, I mean, I love my career. I didn't want to quit my job. It's just like, okay, what, what else? Like I'm making money. I'm happy financially. I can support uh, my loved ones. I can support myself. I can live anywhere I want it. So like, this is it. But like, it's like, I, I am man for more I can do more what that more looks like and I was thinking about like the first thought like well I should probably teach people how to do like what I do or coach them or mentor them or somehow show them the way so there I was recession got laid off and listen uh, if you work in tech you probably know we went through a storm in tech like literally storm in tech so there i was sitting on my boxes because two days after i had to i had to move my lease was up i had to i have to vacate my apartment and i i had to move to seattle so everything was like everything was happening at the same time i had to cancel my uh, U-Haul because I couldn't pay $1,900 just for U-Haul because I didn't have a job and I like I only had one client and uh, I was only the only person who was working in my family providing income so so and at that time well, I moved to Seattle without like I I didn't know how would I, I didn't know how would I make it right. So I landed uh, a very short contract and it felt really out of alignment. I didn't like listen. I will never quit my job until I match my corporate income. I would never do that. Like I think it's stupid. Like no, don't do it. But uh, my employer decided to at my contract and it was the craziest thing ever it, nothing like that nothing like that ever happened to me and there I was like okay now what but the next milestone I had to uh, tackle was uh, actual sales because listen I, at that point I worked with three coaches at more like sustainable capacity and overall I worked probably uh, with five coaches right and uh, like high ticket sales script I probably I can probably recite that script for you like right now but it never hit home it never worked for me as well until I figure out that um, I was focusing on building relationships versus challenging the beliefs versus showing my client in consultations what they're losing the cost of inaction for them not moving forward 
I was trying to make them feel good, make them feel hurt and understood. And this is exactly why they didn't buy. And once I figure out that my job, like, yes, no, like, and trust factor is important, but I should switch my focus from building the relationship. I'm still building, building the relationship. It's, this is natural to me. I'm a natural relationship builder. But I switch my focus from building the relationship because I will build the relationship regardless. This is my nature to actually challenge the assumption, uh, educating people, strategically educating people on their gaps through storytelling, through content, through uh, running projections and actually leading them to my solution, not with, to. And I stopped focusing on making people feel good, heard, understood, because they, 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 I would like, listen, I'm a therapist. So, um, and this is why I decided to put together a masterclass challenge that I'm running next week for five days. And I'm going to teach you how to shift your messaging to land more clients and not just land more clients, but like how do you adjust your messaging to a recession? Listen, right now, people are very undecisive, okay? And it takes a very, like, very strategic approach uh, to make them make a decision or believe in themselves. And the Challenger sales model that I use is was actually created during the Great Recession. And when, like, the economy was, like, absolutely in shambles. And that was the method that worked really, really well. So, and that method works now during this, like, tough economic times. So... Grab the link in my bio and in this story and come join me next week.